It's interesting when people ask me, am I a Christian? I've repeatedly told people over and over and over again that just because someone believes the Bible or just because someone believes in God or just because someone attends a church does not necessarily mean that they are a Christian. Christian is just another label that's placed upon the so-called human beings. People that exist inside of a gross material body. A body that came from the earth. So now we existing inside of a clay model think ourselves higher than we ought to think. But in reality, we're living in an illusion. And the title of this video is Illusion Realities or better yet, God's virtual reality. Before I get started, I want to say that I created some sweatshirts and t-shirts that actually say illusion realities. You can click on the bottom and order a t-shirt or a hoodie. But if you really stop, if you really take time to stop and think, observe everything around you, you will come to realize that nothing is real. Nothing is what it seems to be. Everything Everyone is an illusion of the realities. We're placed upon this earth in the form of human beings. We have everything that we feel we need, everything that we feel we want. And human beings are constantly creating their realities. There's things that exist now that did not exist when I was growing up. If I were to take a lot of the technology that we have today, and if I take it back to the 60s and 70s, more than likely I'd be locked up as an experiment more than likely, I would be looked at as a wizard or a sorcerer. I'd probably be in some type of government jail because fear would get the best of them. The unknown would take over their so-called reasoning. And even when we look at reasoning, or what we call reasoning, that in itself is an illusion. Now, it's mind-blowing to me how you take, for example, on YouTube, I'll create a video, and they would age-restrict that video. They will hide it from the eyes of the youth. They think that certain ages are not ready for that type of visual or that type of information. But yet, when you turn on the television, you see two men kissing 
or making out. Or you see two women that's kissing and make it out. That is considered approved. But to show a man and woman making out is age restricted. When you look at homosexuality, transgenderism, in today's time it is now considered normal to satisfy those that do those things. But yet at the same time, they criticize men for being men. And they're labeled as being toxic. Manhood is toxic. Manhood is now a bad thing. Communists and socialism was at one time a bad thing. If we look at the history of other countries and how socialism or government control destroyed nations of people. But now you have so-called citizens of the United States that's used to so-called freedom is now crying out for socialism to be like those countries that are under government control. Blacks are now racist and whites are now the victims. Raising children genderless without being male or female that within itself is an illusion because you can't change reality into an illusion but yet you can make an illusion to look like or seem like realities now it's interesting because I've spoken on several visions and dreams that I had and lately I've been dreaming quite different the dreams that I have now are more like visions and the visions that I'm having seems like reality like there's a parallel universe like I exist in this universe in this world I see my jackets I see my tripods I see my scanner my printer my beat headphones I see my MacBook my iPhone 10 I'm sitting at my desk in my house I'm drinking Dole strawberry juice but yet this is not reality if I become like this world if I allow myself to be deceived I would think that this is reality so when it comes to our thoughts and ideas when it comes to religion and what we call ourselves Christian Muslim Buddhist five percenter nation of gods and earth whether you believe in God whether you worship trees or even the Sun at the end of the day you will be buried and nowadays people choose to be cremated over being buried that in itself is an illusion because that body once it's put into that furnace does not feel the flames nor the heat because reality 
has left that body and now is existing in reality. Whether that soul believed in hellfire or not, or whether that soul believed in paradise, paradise or not, that soul now faces its own reality. So it's like this holographic image that's on this picture here. It looks like a human being. It's got rays of light beaming from it. But it's a holographic image. It was quite strange after Tupac was murdered that they had a show where they created a holographic image of Tupac and people paid to see the illusion of Tupac. And so he was dancing, the, the holographic image was dancing around the stage and people were mesmerized and in a trance looking at this image of someone that once existed in flesh now dancing around on the stage that they paid the illusion of money to see so nothing is really what it appears to be there's people that exist and I've spoken to some young people that is quite miserable they're depressed that's what they're labeled as being depressed and regardless of how much you try to satisfy that young person or people that feel like this young person what we call depression now creeps up on him or her and they say I did not ask to be here why am I here have you ever heard people say that why am I here they are miserable existing in this reality in this illusion in this plane of existence so Although we look at the flesh of that individual, who's really speaking through that flesh that says, I did not ask to be here. So where were they before they were here? Were they existing in that world that we lay down, go to sleep, and enter into because now our flesh is sleep but yet our spirit is alive and awake it never sleeps so what never sleeps now enters into another realm the realm where possibly it originated from so if I lay down, go to sleep, and I enter into a different realm because now it would make no sense for that unseen reality that occupies this gross material body to continue being alert and awake while the physical body is asleep. So then it leaves that physical body to rest a type of death and then it continues existing in another realm wherever that realm may be this times that I've waken up and this is recently and I was in another reality where I was smiling and laughing I mean there was no snow and keep in mind whenever I had a dream I never really dreamt of snow. It was a place that was always 
sunshine and the weather was nice, but it was another reality. It looked like this world, but the feeling of that realm was different. The people were different. The mindset was different. There was no racism in that realm of existence. And that's been since I was a child. But then when I wake up, I feel the cold draft from the snow outside. Or I wake up and the heat is scorching hot on really hot days. Or I feel the air condition that clogs up my sinuses. And when I wake up, it's like, okay, now I have to continue existing in this realm. But the realm I was just in, they felt like family. People I felt like I knew forever. And maybe that is the way it is. But because I'm in this reality and because I'm limited in this body, I'm not able to really explore the full potential of myself. Now I constantly hear people say, I love myself, but do you really know yourself? If you knew yourself, would you be in the condition that you're in today? If you know yourself, that means you should know your full capacity, your full strengths. You should know your weaknesses, but yet your weaknesses never dominate you. And when I speak of you, I'm not speaking of this fleshly body. You should have control over you. That person, that reality that exists in an illusion, which is your physical flesh, should have dominance over the illusion because you are spirit and because you are life and because you are made in God's image and after his own likeness. So this time that I've waken up just recently and I'm just going to the bathroom but yet I'm leaving this world or I'm leaving that parallel universe where my spirit or soul was resting and now I'm awake the physical body stands up the spirit maybe it's kind of trapped between realms because I can still see and hear those entities that I was communing with in the next world. It's like they're partially here. It's like my spirit or my soul brought them briefly into this realm because the physical body now is starting to wake up. I have to go relieve myself. So I'm still hearing voices. I'm still seeing images of the world I just left. So then it makes me wonder which world is really the realities versus the illusion. Because this world is not going to last. This body, this flesh is not going to last. I saw an interesting show on the Twilight Zone. I was watching the Twilight Zone. <laughs> And it was about these senior citizens that was in this home. And they was watching these kids play kick the can. Now, I played kick the can when I was little, right? So I can kind of like relate to that show. But you had one senior citizen that watching these kids play, it took his mind back to his childhood. And he was trying to let the others know that why should we have to submit to being old? Stand on this porch, wrapped in pain. You know, why do we have to do that? And he was trying to explain to them that you are still a child at heart. It all depends upon your thoughts and your beliefs, what you allow yourself to do. 
And so they were looking at him as crazy. And the person that was running this, this senior home was trying to keep them old, telling them what they can and cannot do. You can't go outside. You can't do that. You can't run around in the water sprinkling. It, doesn't that sound familiar? Whereas if we kind of resort back to our childhood, then we're told that we need to act like an adult. We're childish. Being childish is made to look like a bad thing to or for an adult. So in order to be an adult, we have to do adult things. We have to get old. We have to work. We have to pay bills. We have to get sick. As we get older, we start believing that that's what life is about. So we start accepting the pain. So now you find so many people into this day, in today's time that's dying a lot faster than those in the time I grew up in, which is in itself is an illusion because I time traveled from the 60s and now into the 2000s and was able to witness time, people, technology, food, everything changed. The lack of moral values. So now, things that I speak is foreign to these new people. These new human beings that came from another realm is now trying to dictate how this world should be. But there's going to come a time when this physical body is going to rest. And then my soul moves on to the next life. So when we have these dreams and visions of being in another world, where we're happy at, where we're peaceful, is that considered our heaven, our paradise, where we go from when we leave this life into the next? So dreams within itself is a virtual reality. It's like putting on one of those virtual reality headsets. And now you're in this world, but now your mind is focused on a virtual reality world. Something that was man-made and don't exist, but it symbolizes the unseen. It symbolizes that world that we call uh, uh what's that word um it's a virtual reality world but it's a parallel universe so now they created things in a headset where you can see a parallel universe here on earth so now you're existing in three realities three virtual realities three illusion realities so what we see, what we learn, what we think, what we taste, what we feel is not real. It's an illusion. It's our souls existing in flesh to, it's like a Sims universe. You see some of these apps with the Sims people and it's got the virtual realities, it's got the different worlds that you can create for yourself. That's the world we live in now. I'm looking at Lorna Dunes, but it's not a reality because they don't exist in the next life. I don't recall seeing Lorna Dunes in that next life or in a vision or a dream. So this has been on my mind and I've always thought about this since I was a child. And I sometimes sit back and I just watch people. I watch the reaction. Sometimes I sit there and look at just how Every person, yes, is different in their own unique way. If you look at the structure of someone's face, their facial expression, their actions, their movement, it's really weird. If you allow your mind to go into that realm, you'd be surprised at what you see, you know? And it makes you really think and wonder what's really real. You come out of a dream that seems so real that you wake up laughing or you wake up crying or you wake up afraid. What was it that made you afraid 
in your soul that you would feel it in your physical body. Where was your soul existing at the point this was happening? Because like I said, your subconscious now wakes up when you are asleep. Your subconscious. And it travels. So it's like they take in shifts. You have your conscious and then you have your subconscious. Your subconscious is asleep while your conscious is awake. When you go to sleep, your subconscious now takes over and your consciousness leaves and go to another plane which we call dreams because now you're still connected to that soul although it's in another realm you're still connected to it but in this realm we call it dreams when in reality it's not a dream it's real because while your subconscious mind is now alert guarding you and watching out for you while you're asleep your conscious mind the one that's now awake the one that's now speaking is now traveling into another realm but you're still connected to that you have that ethereal cord that's connected to that so whatever that's feeling you're feeling whatever you're feeling it's feeling whatever your subconscious mind is feeling or sees you see and you feel but yet they call it a dream or a vision but in reality it's a reality to made to made to look like an illusion so feedback tell me what you think subscribe share this video until next time I'm fearless <laughs>